Hi guys, good morning. Today I would like to talk about one of the most common topics that our customers are asking to us. Which kind of battery cell is representing the future? The 4680 or the prismatic one? We can say that the right now many companies all around the world are investing in the tablet cylindrical cell like this one okay and uh, so not from only from just cell maker point of view but even from equipment maker point of view that means that uh, uh, our existing production line are able to produce up to 150 200 parts per minute okay in terms of cell assembly line for sure, the bottleneck is still the winding machine, okay, but uh, with a very simple and rough calculation, we can say that each single cell is about 22, 24 ampere hours with a production uh, rate, okay, for a single line of 150, 200 ppm, okay, with some exception that allow the cell maker to go faster okay but are just exception if we move to the z40 product okay for example for prismatic cell okay this cell is about 40 ampere hours so quite double than this the tablet one but each production line is able to produce 20 to 30 parts per minute okay and the overall dimension of the production lines compared to the two cell technology are more or less the same, okay, in terms of dimension, uh, even in terms of cost, more or less. But the cost per each single product is going to be cheaper for the new cylindrical cell. Okay, so right now it seems more convenient to produce tablet cylindrical cell. Okay, we are not talking about the battery pack, we are talking about just cylindrical cell. But just because, again, many people, many companies are investing in equipment and cell design in order to speed up the production of cylindrical cell. What is the bottleneck for the Prismat one? For sure, the Z folding process, for sure, the lamination stacking process, okay? Another bottleneck in common between the two different cells design are the filling process so we can exclude from our analysis the filling process the electrolyte filling if for winding perspective okay and the cell assembly point of view many battery equipment makers are investing a lot of money in order to improve the technology and move from index machine to continuous motion machine this is not happening at the same level for prismatic cell Okay, so right now, again, it seems more convenient to produce the cylindrical cell than the prismat one. But we know that in the next years, okay, in the next uh, months, some equipment makers are going to invest even for the Z40, okay, and the prismat one. So if somebody is going to uh, produce equipment able to speed to increase the throughput in terms of parts per minute for the prismatic cell then i think we are going to reach a balance in terms of cost okay but again right now it seems more convenient to produce this clinical one and uh, as you know from the website linkedin and so on many players are studying this battery cell and are investing in pilot production line and some of the most important Asian players are going to into the mass production line very very soon okay but again based on our market research right now the market is perfectly split between prismatic pouch and cylindrical okay so there's no a real trend okay even if it seems that the tablet cylindrical cell are going to acquire some market share okay but again we think that once 
the, the companies are able to develop the technology even for the prismatic one, we are going to reach another kind of balance. So this is just a quick overview. Stay tuned, subscribe to our, ch to our channel, and uh, see you soon.